Good day, grade 5. Welcome to our science class. I am teacher Joey, your virtual teacher for today. Today class, we will travel to another lesson in science. I know and I am sure that you are all excited for another fun-filled learning activities for today. So let us now begin. But wait class, before we start our discussion, try to find a nice and comfortable place inside your home where you can focus with your lesson. I want you to prepare yourself as well as your materials necessary for your study. Kindly bring out your pen and paper so that you could jot down some important notes needed for your learning. Always remember class that having knowledge is having a power. Our topic for today class is all about design a product out of local recyclable solid and liquid materials. So this is already our last topic this first grading. So expecting that next week you have now your new lesson for the second quarter. So at the end of this lesson class, you will learn how to design a product out local recyclable solid or liquid materials in making useful products. Specifically, this topic will help you to number one, recycling other waste materials, example is candy or snack packages, describe the benefits of using five hours of waste management on living and non-living things and then compose or present a song a poem or a vlog on the importance of proper waste disposal proper waste management can help our environment to be clean and healthy it lessens the diseases or viruses scattered globally Segregation and minimizing waste must be practiced at home and in our community. Improper waste disposal poses great danger to their health and resources that is the reason why people must learn how to manage our own waste. Activity to refresh your mind. All you have to do is to look the picture and, and, and identify what kind of proper waste disposal done by each picture. So for our number one picture, so the picture is telling us that they are what? The process is very good. They are segregate or they are segregating. Next, picture number two. So what technique? use in this picture anyone very good this is what you call reduce donation is a process or it's a way in reducing a waste materials another one number three picture this picture shows that they are very good by means of recycle so you can minimize your waste through recycling next picture number four yes what this implies it, it, it implies what okay they recover materials next picture number five what is this you have any idea yes this is what you call reuse and then the last picture Mm, yes, this is what you call repair. Look at this picture class. We have uh, paper scraps, we have a household liquid waste, and we have a plastic bottle waste. So what can you see? So they are all what? They are all waste materials. So with the help of the available pictures, all you have to do now is to complete the sentence below so my question now is what what is the common in this set of pictures for you to complete this sentence mm -hmm. do you have an idea now so 
to complete that, this is or they are all what you call recyclable solid liquid materials. So these are all what you call waste materials that can be recycled. My question now is, what can we do with these waste materials? Can you think away of these materials? Very good. We can do what you call recycle. So what are the examples of recyclable solid materials that can be used in making useful products? So we have what you call paper scraps. And then paper scraps can include used band paper, can be an old notebooks, can be an old magazine or newspapers, it can be a cartoons or cardboards, it can be a used band paper. Na ulit yung used band paper. Another one examples of recyclable solid material is that metal scraps. And metal scraps includes a copper, it may be a aluminum, it may be a steel, it may be a bronze or a tin. Another one is that plastic glass bottle. Oh, it consists of what you call container. It can be a ketchup or cups. It can be a beer or an alcohol. It can be small jars of spread and it can be a mineral or a soft drinks. So what is recyclable? Recycle class. So recycle is a process in which an item or its components are used to create something new. It is the process of recovering scrap or waste and processing the materials into useful products. So in other words, class, heto na yung mga alam nating itatapon na natin, pero we should avoid throwing them to the trash can, to the trash bin. Why? Instead of tro throwing them, why not think of it na pwede kang makagawa ng magandang um, materials para mapabago or mapaiba yung anyo nung isang materials. And that is true recycle. So, we have a tips on designing a new product out of local and used materials at home. Number one tip is that determine the available local materials that are largely available at home or in your nearby places and community. So, yun yung unang step, yung tips na dapat mong tandaan. Ano yung pinakamarami yung pwede nang itapon? So, yun yung gagamitin mo. Next is, study the properties of these local materials or use. Broken, damaged, or repairable materials. So, dapat ang i-recycle mo yung patapon na, yung, hindi na, yung tipong hindi na pwedeng magagamit. So, yun yung dapat nating um, kunin. Another one is to create new products that are useful out of these materials by adding some aesthetic sense on them by watching videos, TV, or looking some references that may guide you in creating new material. So, kailangan din mag-benchmark. Kailangan tumingin-tingin sa mag-browse sa internet ng mga possible na pwede mong gawin as long as meron kang gagamitin doon sa bahay nyo, yung availability ng mga materials na gagamitin mo. Next is, as much as possible, seek help from others to enjoy doing your activities in reducing, reusing, recycling, recover, and repair of materials to design local products that are useful out from these waste materials. So to have an idea, Let's start watching this simple video. Ang araw po sa inyong lahat, ako po pala si Jocelyn Jesse A. Bisana. At ngayon po, ay gagawa po ako ng paso na gawa sa bote ng soft drinks. Ito po ang ating mga materyales. Bote po na hindi na po ginagamit na ating pong i-recycle ngayon. Cutter, paintbrush, tali, kunting, itong pintura. Simulan na po natin. Una po, putulin lang po natin ang gitna po neto. Matapos po natin putulin ang bote, maglagay po tayo ng butas sa kabilang dulo. 
Gamit ang gunting. Matapos po natin lagyan ng butas ang magkabilang dulo, maglagay naman po tayo ng tali. Matapos po natin lagyan ng tali, lagyan naman po natin ito ng pintura. So before you start making your own product class, make sure that an adult is supervising you as you do your work. Be careful in using pointed and sharp objects such as cutter, knife, and scissors. So starting today, we should start recycling our waste materials. So this time, what is the importance of this recycle? So recycle is very important as waste has a huge negative impact on natural environment. Harmful chemicals and greenhouse gases are released from rubbish in landfill sites. So what are the benefits of recycling? We have number one is keeps usable materials out of the landfill. Next, it saves energy. Next, it decreases emission of greenhouse gases. Next, it conserves natural resources just like water, just like energy. And then, selling recyclable materials used for handcrafted products. And then, next is achieving zero waste that makes the earth free from waste. And the last one is making money on the recyclable materials by selling it to the different junk shops. Now class, do you still remember the 5 R's in waste management? So these are the reduce, recycle, reuse, recover, and repair. So in order for you to have um, what you call uh, knowledge on how to do recycling, um, let's start watching again a video about recycling.
Hey, may nature guard na si mommy. Hindi siya magagalit. Ding. So this time, let's now proceed to the activities that can promote or have a campaign on proper waste disposal. First one is through a song. Songs on this or through a song or through music that can promote um, a love for the environment just like the song Kapaligiran by Asin. What else? It can be in the form of what you call rap. It can also in the form of what you call um, poem. So song, poem, and rap can be used to advocate importance of proper ways disposal. We have also another one. We have also what you call vlogging. Or the vlog stands for a video, blog, or video log and refers to a type of blog where most of all of the content is in a video format. Blog posts consist of creating a video of yourself where you talk on a particular subject such as reporting or reviewing a product or an event. So, heto yung gagawin natin, class. Heto yung magiging finished product natin. is true in the form of blogging. Yan yung gagawin nyo. Iba-blog nyo yung sarili nyo. Um, habang kayo ay gumagawa ng tinatawag na recyclable materials. So, what is proper waste disposal important? So, there are proper ways of disposing waste materials in our home, school, community, and other places. Dispose materials into separate containers labeled with biodegradable materials and non-biodegradable materials. So to eliminate too much waste to reduce, reuse, and recycle materials, avoid using plastic materials because they can cause a lot of problems. Examples of this is the marine death. And another one is that make money of this waste, but of this waste, bottles, papers, and the like can be easily sold to junk shops. Practicing good habits in disposing materials must be implemented in all sectors of society. So we, in our simple way, must cooperate in the call of the government in preserving Earth to make it a better place to live. So I hope you learned something with our lesson for today.